let's say you have uh, you're in a plane and the plane arrives and if you didn't pay attention when the plane arrives lands on the ground people immediately everybody jumps up and they stand up and they're very very agitated and very antsy to get on the plane and they're fighting over an inch with each other in see look you look at yourself in that situation can you stay maintain your calmness and stay on your seat and still be meditative and let other people go first or you have to just jump up and fight your way through them you know these are the places that you can look at yourself and see is meditation working? Have you brought meditation in your state of being in situations like this? I'll give you another example. Let's say you have an opinion about something. You have an idea about whatever. This is your idea of your guru, your teacher, your school of spirituality or you're studying something and you're sharing it with someone and somebody insults your prejudice somebody tells you oh this is all bullshit and this teacher you're with he or she is just a scam and it's not real and blah 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 so now they are insulting your way of thinking and it's a very good time to pay attention see if rage is coming out of you and you're ready to kill because someone simply do not agree with the way you're thinking and and they're putting your way of thinking down and look you look at yourself to see how you react are you still in meditation are you still the buddha are you still operating from a higher level of consciousness and not affected by their way of thinking of your opinion because who cares what they think that's your way of being but well, why would you get so upset that they don't agree with you? Who cares? I don't care. I don't care if people agree with me or not. I live my own life. What about if someone criticizes you? You've done something, whether right or wrong. Do you get criticized? Does it ever happen? And you're being criticized. Can you handle it? Can you stay still in your meditation and listen to someone criticizing you? They may be right. You may be having unconscious behavior and you're doing something wrong and they're sharing it with you. But instead, you pay attention to yourself. When someone's criticizing you, most human beings are not willing to stay quiet and listen they're they're about to react and defend themselves right away immediately you want to react even and let's say you're even right this person is criticizing you but the person who's criticizing you is wrong and you're right but well, can you keep your, can you stay centered and be meditative and let them say whatever, whether they're wrong and not be at the point of wanting to jump the gun and shoot them or strangle them. So, raising your own consciousness to a higher level, it really starts with yourself first. You have to work on yourself. 
and you have to work on the areas that you really don't want to look at. And especially if in something, also what's coming from the other world? I mean, from the world outside of you. Let's say somebody continuously, you're continuously making mistakes. You're in some sort of work with anyone and you're continuously forgive it, forgetting things. You're not paying attention to details. You're, and and you're being and your the person you're working with your employer your employee your parents your teacher is criticizing you is telling you that you're making mistakes you're making mistakes and and instead of paying attention you're reacting you're getting angry you're reacting you're trying to defend yourself you're trying to create Point out, point out that no, you're right. Instead of really taking a look at it and see, oh, maybe I am paying, making mistakes. Maybe I am being careless and not paying attention to my commitments. Or whatever. I'm not really paying attention. I'm just being spaced out. It hurts when someone tells you that, and it hurts to look at yourself and your own shortcoming. It's painful. So most of us were conditioned from childhood to deny it, go into a denial, rejecting it, not paying attention, and becoming react reactive, reacting towards it and wanting to point finger at the person who's criticizing you that there is something wrong with them because i don't want to look at myself because that's the toughest thing to do in life it's always easy to blame things on other people other situ circumstances other situations but it's the toughest Thing to do is to look at yourself and admit your shortcoming admitting the lack of attention you're not paying attention or let the person that is continuously late whatever whatever appointments you have whatever agreements you have whatever it is you're always late and you know you brush this off oh that's the kind of a person i am but you made plans for with someone and you were supposed to be there and they're waiting for you and you're late so raising your consciousness to a higher frequency and becoming aware it's not only in one area you just it's not just reading a spiritual book it's not just working on activating your third eye it's not only going to a workshop it is but then you want to take what you've learned and examine your daily life 